Hello and welcome to this short video to introduce you to the client portal. In particular we'll have a look at client portal registration, logging into the portal, viewing and signing a document, uploading documents for your accountant and sending a message to your accountant. Once your accountant registers you to use client portal you will receive an email with two links in it. The first link is your activation link and the second one is your access to the portal. So clicking on the first link and we're going to enter a password. The password must contain at least six characters including one numeric, one upper and one lower case character and the maximum length is 20 characters. If we have a look at the email that we were sent we can see the username that we need to enter. In this case my username is PAUSTI01 and I can use the second link if I need it to log in. The company reference is your accountant's reference with HandySoft. You will not need to worry about remembering this as it will always be included in a link provided to access your documents on the portal. I'm now going to paste in the username that I copied from the email and then enter the password. Of course you can tick the remember me option if you'd like the software to remember your password. We have now entered into the portal however there won't be any documents until your accountant has loaded some for you to see. When your accountant loads a new document for you to view you will receive an email advising you that the document is available. Returning to the client portal we can see we now have three documents ready to view. Taking a quick tour of the browser screen you can reset your password using the profile details icon on the top right hand side. You can search for a document either by keyword, author, comment or text. We can simply click on a document to view the document details and then using the icon at the bottom of the screen download the document. That will update the history of the document in the details section and we can see that the status of the document has changed to downloaded from portal. We have now received an email from our accountant requesting that we sign a document. So again we can use the link contained within the email to access that document or as we're still logged in we can just return to the portal. You will see that a note comes up at the bottom of the screen telling us that the list is no longer up to date. So once I log in again or refresh the screen I can see that there's now an icon indicating a request for signature and the status of signature requested attached to that document. So again simply click on the document and in order to sign the document we must first download the document and read the document to ensure that we are completely happy with the contents before signing it in the system just like you would do with any other legal binding document or contract you would physically sign. Now if you're not happy I'll show you how to send a note back to the accountant a little later. And once we've downloaded the document we can see that we now have a sign document button available. Click on this button, read and confirm the information and click the sign document button. Closing out of the document details you can see that the document name now includes the word signed and the status has been updated to document signed. We can see that the icon has changed to green and clicking on the details again we can see the downloaded date and the signed date for that document. If you'd like to upload any documents back to your accountant simply use the upload button and select a file. and click upload. That document will be uploaded. In addition you can send a message back to your accountant about a document that they have uploaded. Simply select the document and use the email icon. And click send. And that concludes this video on using the client portal.